So excellent. Thank you, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another uh, week of, of Magnets. It's good to have uh, everybody back after we've had a, a little bit of a short break again. Um, so for those who haven't actually attended a Magnet seminar before, uh, these are just sort of brief seminars that are 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, we kindly ask that you keep your microphones muted so as not to disturb uh, the speaker. But there'll be time at the end, uh, a 10 or 15 minute session uh, for questions and discussions. And we'll ask you to unmute to ask your uh, question. If you don't want to, to, to unmute to ask your question, you can type the question into the chat uh, and I can read it out uh, for you. And we'll have a little bit of time at the end if anybody uh, wants to catch up, um, have a bit of a, a chit chat. And that part of the uh, seminar is not uh, recorded. Um, so today we've got uh, Liang Gao from uh, China University of Geosciences in Beijing. So I want to thank him very much for uh, staying up um, quite late today to, to give our seminar. And he's going to be talking a little bit about uh, the tectonic evolution of the Antarctic uh, penins Peninsula. So I will hand over to you, uh, Liang. Uh, thanks, everyone. And uh, thanks, Greg and Florencia, for inviting me to present our recent work. Uh, from the uh, Antarctic Peninsula. And the title is uh, New Paleomagnetic uh, Constraints on the Cretaceous to uh, Sensor Tectonic Evolution of the Northern Antarct Antarctic Peninsula and the uh, opening process uh, of the Drake Passage. Uh, my report, including uh, four parts, uh, first is the research background, and then I will show some paleomagnetic. Uh, data from the Antarctic Peninsula and the South Shetland uh, Land Islands. Uh, then this uh, paleomagnetic data are used to explain the tectonic evolution of the Antarctic Peninsula. And uh, uh, at last, the tectonics uh, uh, influence the opening process of the Drake Passage and uh, influence the uh, global ocean circulation. Uh, as we know, the Earth has experienced uh, uh, dramatic change uh, from the about the Paleocene to uh, to the Pleistocene, from a hot house to a ice house. Uh, however, what drives the change of this uh, climate is still uh, under debate. Uh, the formation of the Antarctic uh, Circumpolar Current or the ACC uh, isolated the Antarctic continent and. Uh, has been pro, uh, has been pro, uh, proposed as a mechanism for the formation of the Antarctic ice cape and uh, also the global cooling. However, the numer numerical simulations have shown that only the ACC cannot form the Antarctic ice cape, and the decrease of the atmosphere uh, CO two is critical uh, in uh, in the formation of the Antarctic ice cape. So there are uh, another uh, mechanism for the sensor uh, global cooling is the atmosphere uh, uh, CO2 decrease. Uh, but this process uh, can also be explained by the uh, dipping of the drink passage. Uh, this strengthened the AMOC and uh, 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 increased the temperature and the precipitation of the North atmosphere. Uh, and also accelerated the chemical weathering and uh, consumed the atmosphere, uh, ferric uh, CO2. And also the rising debate uh, can, also, uh, can uh, accelerate the weathering of the silicate rocks and consume the uh, atmosphere uh, CO2. So uh, there are two theories about the uh, history of the, uh, the Drake Passage. Uh, to figure out this, uh, the evolution of this passage is uh, is very important. Uh, the Drake Passage uh, is located uh, uh, at the uh, 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 the northern part of the Antarctic Peninsula, and the also the Antarctic Peninsula is the southern boundary of this uh, passage. Uh, this uh, the the Drake Passage uh, was uh, also this. Uh, Subducted, uh, uh, no, the, the Antarctic Peninsula was subducted by the uh, Phoenix Plate from the west and uh, also the uh, Widow Sea uh, or the South American Plate from the east. Uh, our studying area is located at the north northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. It is the South uh, Shetland Islands. 
and the Antarctic Peninsula uh, is basically a, um, a typical uh, subduction zone, uh, including the fore arc, the arc mechanism, and the back arc. Uh, during the, uh, it, it has a metamorphic basement, and uh, it covers with the uh, Paleozoic and Trasica sediments. And then it treated and uh, covered by the uh, Cretaceous and Cenozoic volcanic rocks or the intru intru intrusive rocks. Uh, also, there are uh, uh, two places uh, we can see uh, the metal metamorphic rocks. Uh, one is uh, located at the southeastern um, tip of the South Shetland Islands, it is the Smith Island. And the other is located at the northeastern tip of the uh, Icelands is the Elephant Island groups. Uh, the Elephant Island, uh, uh, the, the, the minerals uh, uh, extracted from the, the rocks of the Elephant Island has been uh, well dated and it formed uh, uh, at uh, during the Cretaceous about uh, 100 million years ago. And there is a, a small a small island, the Gibbs Island. Uh, uh, it, it formed uh, all the formed at about uh, uh, thirty two million years uh, million years ago. And the the Elephant Island has uh, has experienced different degrees of uh, metamorphism. And uh, from the the north to the south of the island, the the temperature increased and the uh, the, the pressure uh, decreased. Uh, uh, the Smith Island uh, uh, is composed of the high uh, high pressure, low temperature brushes, and the uh, this ro uh, these rocks uh, uh, formed uh, at about uh, six four million years ago at the Cap Cap Smith uh, Cap Smith and the Cap. Oh, okay. Uh, the caps, uh, cap, the rocks uh, collected from the cap gems uh, 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 has been dated at uh, four, uh, 47 million years ago. Uh, in the first part, uh, uh, I would like to see, uh, to show some paleomagnetic data. Uh, we collected samples from the Bears Peninsula. Uh, uh, this uh, and the the Cerro Negro formation was collected uh, for the study, and the sample uh, these rocks uh, has been formed at uh, about one hundred million years ago. Uh, also, we collect some volcanic rocks from the Hanna Point, uh, Copperman uh, Peninsula, uh, Beardus Peninsula, and. Uh, uh, also, Robert Island, the rock point. Uh, this, this, uh, these volcanic rocks uh, were dated with the argon argon uh, uh, method. Uh, we use the thermal and uh, uh, alternating uh, field demagnetization field and then measure these samples with the GR6. And uh, all these samples show uh, very good uh, behavior during the demagnetization. Uh, to, to confirm the uh, magnetic carriers, we did the systematic uh, rock magnetic, uh, magnetic experiments and the uh, magnetite is the main magnetic carrier. Also, uh, uh, in some places we cannot uh, observe the, the fault, uh, so we cannot do the fault test. Uh, so we did the NIM and the RM experiments to uh, to prove that these volcanic rocks uh, take the uh, thermal remit magnetization of the TRM. Uh, this, this is, uh, these are the uh, paleomagnetic data, and uh, from uh, uh, 100 million years ago to uh, to about uh, uh, 23 million years ago. Uh, the Bears Peninsula, uh, the data from the Bears Peninsula uh, passed the four test, uh, and uh, 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 other da uh, the data uh, collected from other uh, from the uh, Cenozoic uh, strategy show the similar uh, paleomagnetic di direction uh, before the 
uh, uh, title correction. Uh, um, because uh, these are the volcanic rocks, it is uh, hard to determine the uh, the uh, the bed, bedding bedding strike or the bedding of these uh, these rocks, uh, but the but the issued uh, directions with a similar pattern from the Antarctic Peninsula and also the uh, South uh, Shetland Iceland uh, prove that that the Cenozoic uh, preliminary data uh, do not need a, a tidal correction. Okay, uh, use this data we. Uh, we reconstruct a uh, syst uh, syst systematic variation of the declination. And uh, uh, we also put some um, paramagnetic data from the thousand Patagonia Andes. And we can see that the uh, paramagnetic data from the uh, 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 South Shetland Islands uh, show the uh, uh, very quick counterclockwise rotation uh, from about 100 million years ago to 90 million years ago. Uh, this pattern is similar to the, uh, uh, to the data uh, uh, from the southern Panagonia Andes. And also we can separate the uh, uh, paleomagnetic data from the uh, Antarctic Peninsula into two groups. And uh, one is uh, the uh, uh, a segment and the B segment. Uh, the A segment uh, uh, data uh, at about uh, one, uh, 110 million years ago uh, have, uh, uh, have uh, through a clockwise rotation. Now, this rotation is also uh, consistent with the uh, strike, uh, strike difference between the A and the B segment, uh, support uh, that the A segment uh, has experienced a uh, uh, clockwise rotation during about uh, 100 to 90 million years ago. And the, we also identified a uh, very quick uh, clockwise rotation from the northern uh, Antarctic Peninsula uh, uh, from about uh, uh, 62 to 55 million years. Uh, this can be explained by the uh, subduction of the Phoenix plate. Uh, the difference, uh, uh, the different subduction uh, 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 from the south to the north, north of the Antarctic Peninsula. Okay, this uh, I, I will say that the the uh, SSI or the South Shetland Islands experienced the, the same scale counterclockwise rotation with the South Patagonia Andes. Uh, support that the SSI uh, was a part of the South Patagonia Andes, and also the digital Z coin uh, it is uh, have the similar patterns uh, between the uh, uh, Livingstone Island and the uh, rocks from the Patagonia Andes. Uh, okay, the uh, so our data supports that the uh, Antarctic Peninsula and the South Patagonia Andes uh, was was connected and uh, a street. Uh, then the uh, this uh, this this islands uh, was uh, this islands uh, was break into three segments. One is the uh, South Patagonia Andes, and uh, the other two is the A segment and the B segment of uh, Antarctic Peninsula. So our model uh, um, is a little different from the previous studies uh, because uh, our reference segment is the B segment of the attachment peninsula because the parameter data from this, uh, this part is similar with the East Antarctic uh, reference data or the East Antarctic APWPS. Uh, the clockwise rotation of the uh, AP can explain the initiation of the uh, subduction of the South American plate or the Widow Sea from the east to the south uh, to the Antarctic Peninsula. And uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the clockwise rotation also uh, induced the formation of the uh, double direction subduction. 
uh, uh, at the Antarctic Peninsula. And the, uh, this subduction continues to the uh, Cenozoic uh, as revealed by the uh, volcanic rocks uh, dredged from the uh, uh, from the Great Passage and also the Widow Sea. Uh, so, uh, 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 what what caused uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, clockwise rotation of the Antarctic Peninsula? Uh, we propose uh, that the uh, this, uh, the the opening of the North Atlantic Ocean uh, has uh, let the South America drift southward and uh, compressed uh, the uh, North Antarctic Peninsula. And also the South Patagonia Andes and uh, caused the anti clockwise rotation of the South Patagonia Andes and the clockwise rotation of the uh, uh, North Antarct uh, Antarctic Peninsula. Uh, uh, we, ha we have some new data, age data of the volcanic rocks. Uh, use this data, we uh, reconstruct the uh, magmatic, magmatic migration. Uh, 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 in the uh, South Shetland Islands, and also we uh, we found that this uh, this 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 volcanic uh, rocks uh, ha ha have some um, magmatic peak, uh, and this uh, magmatic peak or the pulse of the magnetism occurred uh, at the time to, uh, when the uh, Phoenix and the Antarctic convergence rate uh, suddenly decreased or uh, the uh, at the time when the uh, when the increased uh, convergence rate uh, decreased uh, meanwhile we found that the uh, the uh, the uh, the magnetism experienced uh, east uh, not uh, eastward migration during about uh, 40 uh, 40 uh, 42 20 million years, but uh, this uh, this period, uh, but but during this period, the Phoenix uh, Phoenix Antarctic Peninsula convergence rate is uh, is low, and we should observe the uh, the westward of the magnetism because the uh, uh, the Phoenix plate should uh, experiment uh, experience a slab rollback, uh, uh, but uh, the the, the the volcanic rock uh, the but the uh, east eastward uh, uh, migration of the magnetism uh, is still observed and uh, uh, we think that the counterclockwise rotation of the Antarctic Peninsula uh, may contribute to the eastward migration of the magnetism. Uh, there is a very strange uh, 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 magnetism. Uh, at the place uh, with the Unwear, Unwear uh, Island. Uh, this this island is also a pivot of the different of, of the A segment and B segment, and uh, we think that this uh, this uh, island, oh uh, no, this uh, the the deformation process of this uh, this island is similar to the anticline, because when the anticline formed, uh, the uh, uh, the the fault uh, the fault uh, the extension will uh, will uh, occur at the connection point of different uh, uh, part of the fault. So uh, we we can also uh, find a lot uh, garbage uh, includes and uh, uh, their host uh, coast uh, diagram uh, this island, uh, representing a rapid uh, uplift of the limited mixing of primary basic and uh, acid is a Acidic mag magmas magmas. Okay, uh, as I said, there are two places we uh, we can collect the metamorphic uh, morph uh, metamorphic uh, uh, rocks. Uh, One is the Smith Island, the other is the Elephant Island. Uh, this are uh, this these two island uh, these two islands uh, is located at at a place. Uh, at uh, 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 a place uh, where the Hero for Zoo and the uh, Shaker Dune for Zoo uh, interacted with the uh, 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 with the trench, 
and also at the places of these two pivots. Uh, we found that this, uh, the elephant island uh, occurred at a time uh, when the mechanism is uh, stopped, uh, stopped migration, but uh, uh, but the the eastward migration of the mechanism uh, resumed, and the elephant island uh, uh, outcropped. Uh, the similar uh, a similar circumstance uh, occurred at the Smith Island. Uh, you can see the the mechanism. Uh, did not change the, the place during about uh, 90 million years and uh, uh, 62 million years. And then the, the mechanism experienced a uh, eastward migration uh, since about uh, 62 million years. Uh, uh, the the Gibbs Island, also the Smith Island uh, at Cap, Cap, uh, Cape James uh, also occurred at the at the time when uh, the uh, at the time at the transition point uh, between the uh, between the uh, slab rollback and the resume of the uh, subduction, uh, this is very uh, interesting. Uh, the uh, uh, previous studies uh, have uh, do the physically lateral model to explain. The magmatic peak uh, at the arc, uh, at the arc. Uh, this slab rollback slab rollback will uh, uh, cause the upwelling of uh, atmosphere, and uh, this uh, the uh, the hot atmosphere uh, then uh, flowed into the place between the uh, uh, subducted slab and the lithosphere mantle. Because this lab rollback will cause the decoupling, the decoupling between the uh, the 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 rollback uh, slab and the lithosphere mantle, and will cause the uh, will cause the release of hydro subduction uh, derived fluids from the uh, subducted slabs, and uh, uh, and finally cause the uh, finally formed the arc mechanism. So, uh, what about the uh, uh, formation of the or the or the rapid uplift of the uh, metamorphic uh, rocks? Uh, the numerical simulations has shown that the plate rollback is also critical for the uh, formation uh, of the uh, for the rap rapid uplift of this island in in a uh, subduction channel. Uh, but uh, the subduction channel must be opened. And the subductive slab should be decoupled with the uh, with the upper plate. Okay, uh, we also put uh, this uh, 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 scursion uh, metamorphic collapse uh, the age uh, the age of these uh, uh, rocks uh, at the uh, uh, declination uh, lines. Uh, we we can see that uh, these rocks. Uh, uh, outcropped or formed at the uh, the place when the uh, plate uh, has has changed its uh, uh, its direction or uh, at the time of this direction. Oh, so there are two steps uh, to create a, a scursion morph metamorphic clumps. Uh, firstly, is the slab rollback. Uh, and uh, the uh, the step two is the recovery to uh, a normal subduction. Um, uh, previous studies ascribed uh, the formation of these uh, rocks uh, to the uh, uh, to the reduced covering stretch uh, and the uh, uh, the obstacles uh, in the subduction channel. But we speculate that uh, the uh, the clockwise rotation or the off trench motion of the Antarctic Peninsula uh, can also uh, widen the subduction channel and uh, uh, facilitate facilitate the obstacles removal or the or the uh, rapid uplift of these of these rocks from uh, from a uh, 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 widening uh, subduction channel. Uh, in part three, I'd like to uh, show some. 
uh, results from uh, uh, so some results about the tectonics control the, the opening of the uh, Paleocene Great Passage. Uh, we found that the uh, the AP AP has experienced a clockwise rotation from about uh, 62 to 55 million years. And uh, in the re uh, plate reconstruction, uh, we found that uh, this may cause the opening of the Drake Passage. Okay, if there is any evidence to support our uh, speculation, uh, the uh, previous study is about the terrestrial uh, fiasmatic isolation between the Antarctic and Patagonia. Uh, uh, has constrained the, the age of this isolation occurred between about 59 to 56 million years. This supports the opening, uh, at least a uh, shallow uh, drink passage. Okay, the results from the uh, Chile Patagonia also show uh, a very remarkable similar abundance and uh, evolution uh, of uh, endemic and down of luggage uh, cities to that in the Southwest Pacific Ocean and also support the opening of a uh, drip passage. And the numerical uh, simulations have shown that uh, after the drip passage opened, uh, the AABW is weakened because the AABW is controlled, mainly controlled by the salinity of this, uh, the Southern Ocean. And the ACC can uh, decrease the uh, input of uh, uh, high salinity uh, uh, seawater from the uh, 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 middle tropical uh, oceans. And this decreased the, the salinity of the Southern Ocean and uh, decreased uh, the strength of the AEBW. And uh, the decreased AB, AEBW will, uh, because the AEBW can carry the oxygen to the deep ocean. So the decreased, uh, the weakened or the weakened ABW will uh, cause the uh, decrease of uh, oxygen in the deep ocean. Uh, this is also supported by the previous studies. And also the ABW, the weakened ABW will uh, decrease uh, the strength of the uh, ocean flow to the deep ocean and uh, decrease the heighters in the deep ocean. This is also consistent with the geological evidence. And the opening of the Drake Passage, uh, you were, uh, you were about 100 meters will cause the, the significant decrease of temperature in the Southern Ocean. Uh, okay, after about 15 million years ago, the, uh, the Scorcher uh, Sea or the Drake Passage has fully opened. And uh, when, uh, when uh, we put all this uh, geological evidence in this uh, figure, we can see that uh, about uh, uh, 65 million years, the Smith Island uplift occurred. And the Pleiocene's opening of the Drake Passage occurred during about uh, uh, 65 to 55 million years. Uh, this corresponds to uh, a period of Pleiocene's uh, cooling. And uh, also we can see that about 59 million to 55 million years ago, there is a decrease, an a increase, a increase of the uh, global temperature. Um, uh, uh, I don't know uh, what, what, why there, there is an uh, increase of temperature, but uh, this may be uh, induced by the uh, subduction of the India plate to the uh, Asia. This can, uh, release a lot of uh, atmosphere, uh, CO2 to the atmosphere. And the fully opening of the Drake Passage uh, uh, corresponding to the uh, uh, global cooling since about 55, uh, 50 million years. Uh, so uh, there is uh, about four conclusions. The South Shet Islands was a part of the South Patagonia Andes and the North Antarctic Peninsula, uh, the uh, Okonano Bending of the North Antarctic Peninsula occurred during 100 to 90 million years and induced the initiation of ESSZ or the uh, subduction of the Widow Sea. Uh, the magnetic peak in the AP and the rapid uplift of the Scorcher and metamorphic rocks are related to the Phoenix Place rollback. The rapid clockwise rotation of the AP may induce the uh, Pleiocene's initial opening of the 
Greek passage during about uh, 50, uh, 62 to 55 million years. Thanks for your attention and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Greek. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Liang. I think we can, everyone can join in a, a, a round of virtual applause for a uh, really interesting talk there. Um, I'll open the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'll open the floor to um, questions. So if somebody wants to, to raise their hand, uh, I'll invite you to unmute, or if you want, you can type them uh, into the chat. Uh, uh, Florence, yeah. Florence, yeah, yeah. Hi, Liang. How are you? Good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really sorry I, I got in late. I just messed up with the time schedule. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so I, I really liked the talk. I, I, I love, you know, classic tectonics. So I really liked it. Uh, since I got in late, I might uh, miss some data you show. But you know, from from watching the the morphology of the Antarctic Peninsula and, and southern Patagonia, it's like the most reasonable uh, conclusion, right? To think about uh, a clockwise rotation. But uh, the, uh, the 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 last time, you know, I I I, I uh, revised paleomac data. I, I I do not have in mind which Palimac data shows rotation. So I would appreciate if you remind me that. Mm -hmm. And uh, where that data come from? D did you understand my question? Like, could you yeah. just summarize for me which is the Palimac uh, data that shows rotation and, and where does it come from? It's like a, yeah, like a geology question. Okay. Um... Okay, I, you I, know I, I work on Cretaceous and, and yes, the, the, uh, can, the, you, the, can, can you see the uh, uh, can you see the, the there is a movie uh, arrow in the, in the screen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, the Cretaceous uh, paleomagnetic data uh, many obtained from the uh, these areas uh, around the Unwears Island. Uh, so okay, so Cretaceous yeah. come from comes from there. Yeah, okay. from from these areas, and uh, our data from the Bayer's okay. Peninsula show uh, con uh, 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 counterclockwise rotation. Um, so the SSI may uh, may be a part of the uh, South Patagonia Andes. <clears throat> well, there is no data, uh, no criticism data from this area. Yeah. Uh, also, you published some data from here, uh, the Simo. Yeah, Island. but from sedimentary rocks. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, but this 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 part uh, close to the subduction zone of the 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 widow sea between between the widow sea and the Antarctic Peninsula, um, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not sure if if the subduction can influence this data. Uh, so uh, the criticisms with data mainly from this area. Yeah. Okay, and which type of rocks are those from Amber's uh, Island? Are are they igneous? Yes, may, most uh, mostly the intrusive rocks, intrusive rocks. Yeah. Okay. 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 So can, can I see the the directions okay. again? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I only I only only okay, the results from our study and uh, uh, this data. Uh, this data are mainly from the SSI or the. And okay. uh, maybe some some data of the sinusoid data from the a a p. Uh, this uh, the okay the uh, the the b segment you can see the b segment uh, the uh, the the green lines including the critical data from the uh, south south part of the Anwes Island. Yeah, in this line. Okay. Yeah, because the. Yeah, I think for Fernando Poblete uh, also had some Cretaceous data. I I don't remember that exactly. Yeah, uh, I think okay. we we should care. We we should collect more data from this uh, from from the yeah. AP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, because I, I think it's very reasonable, but yeah. But I, I had, I mean, I was uh, looking the same as, as you are. Like I, I was trying to find rotations, but it, it was kind of hard to, <laughs> it's like the data was showing me the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. complicated. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Florencia. Um, we have time for uh, another question if anybody wants to, to, to raise their hands. If not, I mean, I, I have a, uh, maybe a quick question or maybe a slightly naive question, but uh, when you're, you're describing the model of, of um, uh, the slab flattening and slab uh, rollback, and how that you're going through a, a a period of transitioning from one to the other, does that is there is there sort of geochemical or lithological um, um, data to to sort of you know see that 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 change in the 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 dynamics of the slab? Because I could, I would imagine that as you're going through a rollback period and you've got this decoupling, you might get changes in the the melt dynamics, and that might manifest as some sort of geochemical uh, signal. Uh, not my expertise, certainly, but is there any other um, any evidence, geochemical evidence that that would indicate that that, that these processes are are going on? Uh, I'm not very clear with the with, with the first sentence you mentioned. Uh, can you repeat your question? Uh, yeah. So you you had sort of presented the sort of model that that um, you have a period of slab rollback. Um, and yeah. then slab flattening, and then and then yeah. back to a period of slab rollback. Um, is there any change in uh, in the the, the in intrusive lithologies, or a change in the geochemistry that would sort of support that uh, model? Uh, uh, basically, uh, we uh, we deduce uh, we deduce the slab rollback from the. Uh, uh, the, the 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 change with the magmatic migration and also the uh, Phoenix Antarctic convergence variation. Um, because uh, all these rocks uh, uh, are the, they, they are basically, uh, they are most, uh, mostly the, uh, uh, the, the volcanic rocks and, uh, and uh, there's no, 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 no significant differences uh, in the uh, geochemical composition of these rocks. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Uh, time for one last quick question, if anybody has one. If not, um, let's thank uh, Liang again with another uh, round of applause for um, a really interesting talk. Um, and thank you very much. Um, before everybody sort of disappears at the end, uh, I've got my usual little uh, announcement and reminder that um, we're back in a couple of weeks um, with another uh, magnet seminar, and we have um, through till the end of the year um, a range of speakers lined up. I've listed everything as TBC at the moment because everyone's been on vacation and I'm still waiting for them to reply to emails confirming that they're happy with the dates. But we have uh, a full series uh, lined up over the next um, couple of months, bringing 2023 to an end. Um, but as always, all of our seminars are available on our YouTube channel for anybody to catch up at any time uh, and any place. So thank you, everybody, for uh, joining Magnets, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers. Thank, thank you, Greg. Bye.